Chinese colonialism? China in Africa, win-win development or a new colonialism? Why loan sharks like China are Africa's new colonizers? Is China a new colonial power? Colonialism, a term frequently found in history textbooks typically associated with the Western plundering of the Americas, Africa, and Asia, has now been repurposed by certain Western media and politicians to describe China's activities in Africa over the past decades. La Chine n'est pas venue pour conquérir ceux les autres. Mais le problème qui se pose, c'est que il y a des puissances qui voudraient s'imposer, qui voudraient dicter leur politique dans les pays africains, qui veulent s'ingérer dans les affaires. La Chine n'a pas de condition. Africa's relationship with China is under scrutiny, and um, um, quite a lot of people, organizations, countries are trying to uh, look at this as predatory. I would speak on behalf of my own country and say that we are not fools. We have gone willingly into a relationship that we think is a win-win. Um, we have relationships with other institutions around countries around the world, and uh, that has been going on for a century, and we have not benefited. So why does the West accuse China of practicing colonialism in Africa? Et qu'il y a d'autres puissances qui colonisent, qui voient la puissance de la Chine, qui veulent collaborer avec les Africains, alors que il peut y avoir une idéologie de néocolonialisme, une idéologie de suivre l'idéologie des autres. We have to understand that we are discussing this within the context of an anti-Chinese hysteria which is deliberately fueled by Western government, Western intelligence agencies, and their media as a vigorous anti-Chinese hysteria. Then, what is the current state of China-Africa relations? China has played a pivotal role in contributing to Africa's development by constructing and renovating vital infrastructure, like dams, roads, and hospitals, which have bolstered regional integration trade and industrialization. Hence, most African nations value their cooperation with China because it supports their development goals. For example, Nigeria hopes that collaboration with China will stabilize its economy amid declining oil prices. Meanwhile, East African countries like Kenya are partnering with China to enhance regional connectivity through infrastructure development. In healthcare, China's medical aid support has significantly improved access and well-being. Education and technical training initiatives, such as scholarships and the establishment of Confucius Institutes and Luban workshops, etc., have enhanced human capital and supported Africa's modernization. We have a strong uh, relationship with China and it's a win-win uh, relationship. Chinese people are bringing to Egypt a lot of know-how, a lot of commodities that would be very expensive for us to produce in-house, trading, so we are exporting a lot of stuff also to China. China-Africa cooperation, in stark contrast to the colonial mindsets of some Western nations, is based on mutual respect, equality and shared benefits, making it a model for South-South cooperation. And how do Africans view China-Africa relations and the accusation that China is a rising colonial power? I beg to differ, so I know what is colonialism. Colonialism is different from cooperation. Africa is open for business. As long as we're doing business on an equal footing, then of course it's not colonialism, it's just business. At the end of the day, uh, the world is made by people who actually do things, right? If people complain about this, then it's colonialism for the whole world. And Africa, where China and Africa have something in common, is that both China and Africa had 100 years of humiliation uh, at the hands of Western colonial powers. So it is ironic that uh, the very same powers have the audacity um, to use the very same term uh, towards China. 
claims that China is colonizing Africa missed the mark. In fact, China-Africa cooperation exemplifies international relations based on equality, not domination, showcasing a new, sincere approach to global partnerships rooted in mutual respect and benefit. At the 2024 Summit of the Forum on China-Africa Cooperation, leaders from both sides will share their foresights and foster cooperation based on the theme, joining hands to advance modernization and build a high-level China-Africa community with a shared future. Together, China and Africa will drive global modernization and shared development.